Imo, it seems like you're getting better from race to race, small steps, and uh, you're getting more and more professional with your um, with your support, supporting team around you. What can we expect from you on Sunday? Oh, good question. No, it's cool. I've um, changed a few things recently, and um, it's cool to be here with a with the team behind me, as you say. Um, and yeah, it changes a lot. It makes it uh, a lot smoother. Um, but I'm certainly I've switched up my training a bit. Change of coach, as you know, since last year in Rattingen, and I was really pleased with um, how Dubai went, considering still being limited due to injury. Um, and I've managed to pick up the running a bit, so I'm excited to see if my run shape has evolved a bit and um, to be honest it's it's one of those things I'm in it's a kind of prep race um, and I'm working towards Coeur d'Alene in uh, end of June so that's priority focus but it's awesome to be able to be here and racing against the best girls in the sport just to just to see and put a benchmarker down on where I am and what progress I've made so I'm really excited to race the best obviously makes it all a bit more interesting and that much bit harder but it's going to be fun. Do you know that there are no prep races in triathlon? Yes I am aware that's why I kind of put it in quotation marks. <laughs> so we have uh, Lisa here, we have Anna here and um, are you capable to win the race against those strong girls who are so long into the sport? Um, honestly you got to believe you can to do it um, so I believe I can, whether on Sunday I will or not, we'll have to wait and see, but I believe that whether on Sunday or down the down the road in the future, I'll be able to, to match them, yeah. That's good to hear. What does your tactic look like for Sunday? Can we hear it, please? Secrets, please. <laughs> so you have to, to swim with Lisa. She told us that uh, she's looking for an alliance with you on the, on the swim course. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, um, she's with her Olympic background, she's certainly got a bit more of a swim pedigree than I have. I've been working on my swim quite a bit um, the past few months, so I'm excited to see where that's at, hopefully hold up. Um, but you never know, it's cold water, it can hit you a bit harder, and sometimes you, you lose the feel for the stroke, I find, a bit in cold water, actually. And so that can throw throw me off, throw anyone off, so it'll be interesting to see. Um, obviously, Anne is a seriously good swimmer as well. I often in Kona in 2019, I came out of the water with her. Um, so it'll be interesting. Um, on the bike, the bike course looks pretty fun. I'm yet to see the whole thing in person. Um, but yeah, the conditions as well could render things quite interesting because one moment the weather forecast says it's going to be rainy, the next it's not. So there are a lot of, a lot of um, various parameters up in the air that we can't control and that will be interesting to see. Dubai was a hot race. Here it's going to be windy, rainy, not so warm. Um, is it good for you or? Um, well, the last time I was meant to race in really cold conditions was Davos, which was obviously thunder and lightning stormed, snow stormed off. So actually, I haven't raced in those conditions for quite a while. So I'm quite excited to see how I fare. Um, I train in them quite a lot, so I'm optimistic about how it would be. And yeah, excited to race, to be honest. You're working with uh, training and diagnostics from Switzerland and uh, when we look at your social media profile on Instagram, it looks like you're training a lot small things like TRX here, gymnastics there. How looks your daily training? I mean, really? what, what, you, on, see, <laughs> what you see on social media isn't the whole truth. Yeah, I've done um, <laughs> a few um, short, more VO2, more um, dynamic focused uh, training sessions. But of course, with Ironman prep specifically, I've been doing the long five hour rides and the longer runs as well, slowly building that up. And um, no, it's you, you only see a snapshot of true reality on social media. You only see the smiles. You don't see, <laughs> oh, I did post a photo of me curled up on the floor the other day, which which was the truth, really. <laughs> But we will see the true reality on Sunday, on race day, and can't wait to see, it, see you on the course out there. So thank you for the interview right now. And um, we expect you um, to see you on the podium. Wow, thank you. Well, I hope to be there, but you never know, right? Anyway, thank you guys. And yeah, see you on Sunday.